It's really good to have people here. I think um, this is exciting part and probably we could see that this is the jewel in the crown in the Avon Otakaro uh, River. And the Avon Otakaro is the first of the uh, anchor projects in Christchurch. And the reason it became the first was because suddenly the earthquake gave us an opportunity to turn our city round. Um, and that's what's happening around the world, actually. Every city wants a waterfront or a harbour side or a river. And when this river was, when this city was originally designed over 140 years ago, um, we didn't, we weren't so connected to those natural features. And so it was often the backs of things that fa faced the river. And even now, if you take a canoe ride through some of the suburbs of Christchurch and follow the river, you'll see the compost heaps are on the side of the river in the older houses, but the newer houses have turned themselves around and faced their living space down to the river. And I think that's one of the exciting opportunities that this earthquake has given to us, the opportunity to turn our face to the river and actually understand how that can become a really wonderful green public space. And if you think back on it, probably Victoria Square was the only space along the river that people used pre-earthquake. But post-earthquake, when we've got so much space on either side of it, I think we're going to find a lot of people come into our city and learn to love our city because of what they do along the rivers. And I don't know about you, but before um, the earthquakes, when I had visitors to Christchurch, I used to always take them to the Arts Centre. That seemed to be a really central place for us. Now, we'll be able to do that, because of course that's going to be rebuilt. But I think there's going to be a lot of people who will say, come and walk around the river. And they'll start at the boat sheds, and they'll walk down that watermark park. They'll go past the earthquake memorial, which will be in the next section. They may pay their respects at the um, Bridge of Remembrance. They might stop at Anthony Goff's along the terraces and have a coffee or even a glass of wine. Uh, wander further around here, come to Victoria's Bear, maybe have your lunch sitting down, maybe get on a punt, go further down past um, the Marai area down by uh, the Avon Loop and end up in Fitzgerald Avenue. And that will be a promenade all the way through here, which will encourage people to see our city from the riverside. And so I think it's really appropriate that we're here talking about Victoria Square. Um, as I've explained before, we've got these little sort of interest points all the way along. We've got the earthquake memorial, which has um, been in consultation, and um, that the answers of those submissions are going to come out quite soon. Um, we've got the Margaret Mahi Park, which has been working with hundreds of kids to come up with something that the public can bring young people back into the city, and that's going to be opened in the middle of this year. And so now it's our turn to talk about Victoria Square. Now, somebody said, well, why didn't we consult on it before? Well, when we started this project, it was about two and a half years ago, and the public's headspace was really into houses and getting their houses fixed and getting their suburbs fixed and getting those services fixed. So I think if we had started back then, um, we would have perhaps got a bit of, a, bit of the old thumb da thumbs down. We're not ready to think about those frills at this stage. Um, and so we've just sort of carried away quietly, but now the public have said, yes, we want to talk about Victoria Square. So I really appreciate the fact that we can do something like this, that people can have their say. And I want to particularly thank you, Rob, because you've, yes, he puts his head up, because um, it's worked really hard to make that process easy for people to do. You can go online, you can come down to the Visionarium, we can do this today. We've had other meetings in the square that people can have a chat. So everybody can feel that they're part of this process and to make sure that we get something out the other end that suits as many people as possible and actually is the jewel of the crown on the Avon Otakaro area. I think uh, Nikki has covered off uh, a lot of what this is all about. Um, I suppose from uh, the council's perspective we are a, a partner through the cross hearing agreement and so we have an interest in what actually happens in our city. Um, what we have to remember, we've come through a major disaster and we've lost 85% of what we had in the central city. Uh, the buildings have come down. And as we replace those buildings, we actually are replacing memories. And, and I suppose when you start replacing memories, sensitivities from people actually come to the fore and they get quite upset uh, with the change because uh, it's been foisted upon them by this uh, natural disaster. So. Uh, 
there has to be some sensitivity and I suppose uh, engagement with our partners, the public and uh, the Maori, uh, with the relationships that, uh, that come from the past. Uh, without looking in the rear vision mirror of the past, we need to understand that and actually take that into account as we move forward because it is important to understand where we've come from so we can understand where, where we may go. Uh, from my perspective, I, I, I look at the central city, I'm really excited with a lot of what I see. We're never going to get everything 100% right, but um, I think uh, engaging with people, understanding what they want to see and, and how we put that together in a way that makes sense and, uh, and contributes to the future of our city is really, really important. Uh, I'll reflect back on uh, not long after the earthquake, I was one of the people that actually put the restart project together, and uh, as part of that project, uh, it was understanding people's emotion uh, of what they were going to feel when they came back into the city. I don't believe many people in this city understood how much was lost in the central city uh, post the earthquake. And with that, we understood that um, the first emotion they would feel when they came back in, once they opened a portion of those cordons, was shock uh, of how much had actually gone. And with that, we wanted to create an experience that actually was almost uh, the, the opposite to the grief they might feel from the loss of the city centre. And uh, we came up with a term called Uber Cool. <laughs> and uh, Uber Cool was about creating something that um, flipped the emotion on its head from grief and shock to uh, one of, wow, this is... This is new, this is really exciting, this is our future, and well this could be our future. And even though it's a temporary project, I think it actually identified uh, Christchurch as a very creative city, uh, a city that isn't um, stuck in old tradition. Uh, and we've now got an opportunity to uh, create uh, something special uh, and something that actually delivers something for the future uh, that you don't normally get an opportunity to do. And uh, I'm not saying that we should forget what we've lost, but what I'm saying is we've got an opportunity now to create something that is actually outstanding for the future of our, our people and a place where our young people want to stay, uh, raise families. It's attractive for uh, people to actually want to learn and create and we're seeing a lot of that now uh, in our city. We've got a very creative and talented bunch of people. This project here, I'm excited. As uh, Nikki pointed out, we did turn our back on our river. And uh, we've got an opportunity to create something really quite outstanding. I think the Ava Notakara River Precinct project is a really, really good one. Uh, I think it's really exciting. And there's some really fantastic aspects to it. The, uh, I think a lot of people didn't realise that um, Victoria Square was part of that and I think we were a bit the same as the council, we didn't quite th think it was part of it and I think a wee bit of that was a bit of shock for some people and that may have actually sort of brought the emotions to the fore. But with the uh, emotions that have come out around uh, this, this, this uh, piece in our, in our city uh, has highlighted that people do actually uh, want to see something uh, here uh, they want to maybe perhaps see it stay as it is, but I think this is an opportunity to maybe uh, make this even a, a more special place. Um, I mean, I know from working in the city for eight years uh, pre-earthquake, it just wasn't utilised to the degree that um, I think that we could have utilised it. Some of that was uh, due to the very large building that used to plug <laughs> the connection uh, out to the uh, to the west and now that that's gone we will make sure we keep that connection uh, through there uh, so it doesn't sort of create a void in the centre and I think that's really really important. So I'm excited to listen to what people want to say and feel about and what they want to see here in the, uh, Victoria Square and I think rather than me carrying on talking let's just uh, sit around together and sort of uh, talk about some ideas on how we create a really fantastic space. Thanks for coming.